The house is currently a disaster. Everything pretty much is out of the bedroom. It's finally done. My room is finally done. I have been working on this room with my husband and even my daughter's been helping out and it has been quite a process, but I'm so excited that it's all done. I'm so happy with how it turned out and I'm really excited to share with you guys how it all looks and also give you some tips for decorating on a budget if you're looking to redo your bedroom. I have some awesome ways to be able to revamp your space, make it look even better and more beautiful, make you fall in love with it again, and of course, do it on a budget. My first tip for redecorating your room on a budget is painting. Painting, painting, painting. Paint whatever you can. I think that painting can be one of the things that makes the biggest difference, the most impact. Now we didn't do so much of a different paint color. Our room was like an off-white yellowy color, which I didn't like the yellow hue in it at all. So I knew number one, we wanted a fresh coat of paint. I wanted to keep our room a light color. We don't have a very big master bedroom, so I wanted the space just to feel light and bright in here, but I wanted the white to be more of a, a true white and not have that more yellowy tone to it. You can definitely tell a difference in the color. Oh yeah. Whether you do a white paint, whether you're doing something bold, whether you're doing just a totally different neutral color, painting can make all the difference and just totally bring your space back to life. Not only just painting the walls, but also look at your furniture. See if there's any furniture that you wanna paint. I even painted these French doors. They drove me crazy before. I just didn't like the color wood that they were. And I always thought, especially in this bedroom, they would be so much prettier if they were whiter. So we decided to go ahead and paint these white as well. My daughter helped out too. I'm so happy we decided to paint it white. It just gives it such a more clean look to this room. And it wasn't that difficult to do. It just took a little bit of time. So paint whatever you can paint. It will make a huge difference. We didn't finish painting completely. So we'll have to finish that after the floors are in. But it's getting there. It's getting there. Speaking of painting, also painted this nightstand. I originally thought I wanted to change out these nightstands and get brand new ones. Then I started searching nightstands and my goodness, they can be quite expensive. So I decided instead of trying to get new nightstands, let me paint these bad boys so that I could do it on a budget and see if I liked the way they looked painted. And I'm so glad I did. Putting a fresh coat of white paint on these totally transformed the way they looked. I was going to change out the hardware, but I ended up just keeping this hardware and painting it white as well. So it kind of just blends them together. Maybe in the future I will change out this hardware, but for now, this was fine for me. Aside from just painting the walls, I have been wanting to add some type of a shiplap look onto my back wall for so, so long. I had talked to my husband previously about it and it just wasn't on our budget to hire someone to do it for us because my husband and I are not the most handy people and going to a store and getting all the materials for it and nailing things in the wall and hiring someone to help us do all that, that just seemed like a lot of work that we weren't ready to tackle. I started researching different ways to do shiplap and I discovered this company called Wall Planks. And this is where my dream of a shiplap wall happened. They have peel and stick shiplap. I told my husband like, this is what we need. I was like, this is something we can totally do ourselves. And he agreed. So I reached out to Wall Planks and asked if they'd be interested in sponsoring this video and they agreed and I'm so thankful for it because literally this is the part of my room that I'm the most excited about. It gave me the feel that I wanted on my bedroom wall without having to like do super hard work to get it there. If you search wall planks on Instagram, you can see all of their different kinds of wall planks they have or you can go to wallplanks.com. They literally have wall planks for every style, color, whatever you're trying to go for, they've got it. I decided I wanted to go with the classic white shiplap. They also have some that are like super chippy. They have, like I said, different colors. They look super weathered. All sorts of different kinds that you can choose from. They also have some really cool peel and stick wallpaper, which I am interested in for a future project, but not for this one. I just wanted my shiplap wall. Oh, I freaking love this wall so much. I decided to just add a little wreath above our bed because I didn't want to take away from the shiplap. 
It was so easy to do. You just send them the dimensions of the wall or the room or wherever you're wanting to ship lab. They send you everything that you need. You don't have to go to the store, figure out if you need this, how much of this. They make it super simple. They send it, shows up to your door, ready for you to then peel and stick. Once you get to the end and you have some plank left where you're at the end of your wall, you do a little measurement, make a cut. They say you can use a utility knife. We decided to go ahead and use a saw just to make it a little bit more of a precise cut and a little bit easier to cut. Then once we had it cut, we would put the cut piece on the next row down and then kind of do it that way so we're staggering out the um, shiplap so you have different staggered lines. Lennon, what do you think of shiplap so far? I think it looks good and then great and then good again. I just think this is so great to be able to add that extra style to a space and because they have so many different kinds of styles and colors, you can make it fit whatever your home decor looks like. We're also doing a little bit of shiplap in our bathroom, which I will be sharing with you as soon as we get the bathroom all the way done, but I'm really excited about that as well. But yes, this is definitely an affordable and easy way to add a shiplap look into your home. And I just honestly, I couldn't be more in love with it. Wall plank shiplap is very easy. All you need to do is cut your size, peel off the back, and stick it to whatever wall you need. Also, if you guys are interested in doing any shiplap like this or any of wall planks, peel and stick, shiplap options, wallpaper, anything like that, they were nice enough to give me a code for you guys to use. You will get 25% off of your whole purchase. All you have to do is type in the code hashtag I am Megan Navarro 25 at checkout and you will get 25% off your whole purchase which I think is such a great deal. You guys, there's so much good stuff on this site. If you're looking to redo a room or just add some different style to an area, definitely check out wallplanks.com. And don't forget to use my code for 25% off. I wanna talk about another thing that you can do to update the look of your room affordably, and that is to get some new table lamps. You know, nightstand lamps. Whatever kind of lamp you wanna call it, uh, I think this can really change the look of a room. We had the same lamps in here that were from Ikea for like four or five years and I was just over them. They weren't that expensive of lamps anyways and I was ready to change them out. I found these lamps at TJ Maxx. They were like 35 bucks a piece. Not super cheap but not super expensive. They were right in the wheelhouse that I was willing to spend. And because I'd already painted the nightstand, I knew I had a little bit to spend on a lamp. So maybe if you're wanting to update your space a little bit, if you can kind of DIY and make over your nightstand itself, then spend a little bit more on getting a nice lamp that you really like. There's so many different kinds of lamps, styles, colors, all that. You can get it so specific for the style that you're looking for for your room. I wanted to keep it kind of more rustic, farmhousey, and then pair it with my more blingy vase to keep with that farmhouse glam kind of feel that I wanted to go with. Now, one thing that made the biggest difference in our room was our flooring. Our flooring before was a very old, very stained, nasty carpet. My husband has terrible allergies and his allergist has been telling him for years that we need to get the carpet out of our room and so finally it was time for us to pull the trigger on getting the carpet out. We decided the most affordable way to redo our floors and get the carpet completely out was to go with a laminate flooring. Laminate is always super easy to clean and it's less expensive than getting a vinyl or a hardwood or a tile. Obviously, it's still an expense. Getting new flooring is never cheap. This is what our laminate floor looks like. I absolutely love it. It's got a weathered look to it. It's gray with white and a little bit of brown warmness into it. We really love the look of it a lot. It works really well for this space. Since it's laminate, this was definitely the most cost-effective way for us to change out the flooring. We're so happy that we did. My husband's allergies are so much better with that carpet out. If you don't have to get new flooring, but you still wanna change the look of it, the best way to do that is with getting an area rug. I did still wanna add some sort of an area rug in here without spending a ton of money. And if we would've gotten an area rug, that fits completely under our bed. It would have just been a little bit more than we wanted to spend right now since we just redid the floors. So instead, I just added a five by seven area rug 
on this side of the bed and it works perfectly for over here. Also, another reason why we didn't want to spend a lot of money on an area rug is I have a 15 year old chihuahua that doesn't love to hold her bladder all the time when she should. So I also wanted to just kind of test this area rug out and see how she did with this before we invested in a more expensive, bigger area rug. But honestly, I love the way this area rug is right here. Okay, let's talk about the bed and bedding. So obviously in your bedroom, your bedding and your bed are a pretty big feature in your room. And they both can be pretty costly to update or redo. Now, a bed is obviously even more than changing out your bedding. So if you're wanting to do things on a super tight budget, think about changing out your bedding. I actually really like the bedding that I already have. I just wanted to spruce it up a little bit. And the best way to spruce a bedding up is to just add some new throw pillows. So that's what I did here. I found these really cute, like gray and white kind of buffalo check throw pillows and they have like a softer white on the back more like a fuzzy white and I thought that these would be really pretty going into the winter time and I decided to pair it with another soft cozy pillow neutral colors I think they go really pretty with the gray buffalo check and I just love this kind of texture and feel as we go into the colder months even though it doesn't get that cold here in Florida but I still like to pretend it does so a nice soft fuzzy pillow I think always looks so good on a bed going into fall and through winter time. You can usually find throw pillows pretty affordably. You could even add a throw blanket onto your bed and that can help make a bit of a difference if you're wanting to give your room a different look but without having to spend all the money on completely changing out your bedding. Of course, if you wanted a fully different look, go ahead and switch out your bedding for something that is a little bit more to the taste that you were going for. But for me, I'm all about the new throw pillows. <laughs> if you have a TV in your room, Hang it. Oh my gosh, what a big difference this makes. We didn't even realize how big of a difference it was until we finally hung it all these years later. We had it sitting out on this dresser and you don't realize how much space it takes up and how much clunkier it makes the room feel. Now that it's hung on the wall, it just makes it feel so much cleaner, so much better. Don't mind though that my TV is like pretty dirty. I probably should have cleaned it before, but let's just go with it. It still looks so much better up on the wall than it did sitting right here on this dresser. I'm so happy. It's actually not that expensive to do either. You do, if you're not that handy, you might need a little bit of help. Honestly, we ended up hiring someone to help us do this because we wanted it to be done right and we didn't want our TV to fall down. But if you are handy or someone that you know is handy, we know, we've heard, it's not that hard of a project. It's just not something that I trust me or my husband doing. You know what I'm saying? And price-wise, it's not that expensive to do. I think we got our bracket to hang it for like 60 bucks. So obviously $60 is still a lot, but it makes such a big difference. It was $60 well spent. I've had this dresser for a very long time. I've thought about changing it out and or painting it, but I just hadn't wanted to make that commitment quite yet. Plus, it kind of matches with my bed frame. And since I wasn't changing out my bed frame yet, I was like, let me just keep it how it is, but what can I do to spruce it up a little bit? So, I found these little crystal knobs, and since my room is like, farmhouse glam kind of vibe. I thought the crystal knobs would be really cute on here. Before it just had these little plain silver knobs on it. Nothing was wrong with the knobs. I just wanted to update the look a little bit and I'm so glad I did. I think that these look so pretty on here. Just adds a little bit different of a feel without spending much. I think I got all of these knobs. It was like a 12 pack for eight bucks or something like that off of Amazon. So really super easy to do and you literally just twist them off and replace it. It was so easy and quick to change it. I can't believe that I didn't do it sooner. So if you do have a dresser or a piece of furniture in your room that has some hardware that you don't really like, try changing it out and see if that makes you like it even more and you can always paint it as well. Painting and changing the hardware, that'll give you a whole new look for sure.
One other thing we did spend a little bit of money on, we did get a new mirror for in this room. We had had the mirror that was in here for years and years and years. I decided I wanted to change it up a little bit. We got this mirror on sale at Kirkland's. I think it was like 70 bucks, so not super expensive for this big of a mirror. We love the look of it. I feel like it fits in the room really well. So that was just one other thing that we added in. Okay, besides our floors, there is one thing that we did splurge just a little bit on in this room, but I will say my mom got it for me. So the splurge was from my mama. She knew that I wanted a different ceiling fan. I've had my eye on fandeliers for quite some time. If you've seen my home tours in the past, you know I have a big, beautiful chandelier in my dining room that I absolutely adore. I love like a glitzy, glammy light. That's just my vibe, I love it. And luckily my husband loves it too. So I knew he would be on board with it if I found one and he was definitely on board with it if my mom was willing to buy it as a gift for us. So this is my new Fandelier. I don't have a name for her, but I feel like I do need to name her. She's so pretty. And what's awesome about it is the fans are retractable. So when the fan isn't on, the blades just stay tucked right up into there. And then when you turn the fan on, the blades come out. I, I absolutely adore this light. I think it is so great. The only downside, if you're looking into a fandelier, if you like lights that dim, Fandeliers are not going to be your friend. I am a dimmer kind of girl and I thought that I found the one fandelier that actually dims because it said that it actually dims. It doesn't dim. It gives you two different kinds of light. It gives you like a bright, bright white light where it's almost like you're in a surgery center and then it gives you like a warm light. The warm light I don't mind so much but it is so, so bright. So if you have a big, big room, it might not seem that bright, but in our room, since it's a little bit smaller, it is super bright. So I don't personally like to use the actual light. However, I never really used the light on our fan before. I always just used it for the fan. I don't really use the light anyways, but it still looks pretty and is still a fan. Also, my husband and I did not put this fan up. The same person that hung our TV we had him do the fan too. <laughs> I really wanted this room to feel light and airy, yet cozy and a little bit glam. Like I said, I was going for kind of a modern farmhouse glam kind of vibe, and I think I achieved that. I love being in this room now, and so does my husband, which that is the most important part. I still wanna add maybe like a fall pillow in the middle of my bed, maybe some pumpkins on my nightstands, but other than that, the room is all done, and I am so happy with it. I hope you guys enjoyed my bedroom makeover and hopefully the tips that I gave will give you some help or inspiration if you are looking to redo your bedroom on a budget. Also, don't forget to check out wallplanks.com. I will leave all their information linked in the description box below. Don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. If you're new, I would love to have you subscribe. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.